So good morning, everyone. Today we begin the poem that is My Mother at 66, written by Pramila Das. So if you talk about the theme of this poem, the theme is aging. Aging is a natural process. All those who are born, they will grow up and one day they will die. Then also bonding, bonding between mother and daughter. Fear of loss, fear of losing something or someone. So these are the major themes in this poem. If we talk about the poetic devices used by the poet Kamala Das here. So there are five to six poetic devices which have been used. They are simile. First of all, what is simile? Simile is comparing two things, two persons, two places using words like or as. Using words like or as. So if you will notice that similes are used here. Alliteration. That is the repetition of vowel sound. Repetition of vowel sound in the starting of a word. That is a repetition. Sorry, alliteration. Then imagery. What is imagery? Imagery, the words, they create senses in our mind. They appeal to our five senses. We are able to imagine the picture of something through these senses. So that is image. Tautology is the use of words to emphasize certain ideas or certain phrases, certain meaning. So use of different words having same meaning. So in order to emphasize something different, for example, Example, ATM machine. We have discussed the other day. ATM machine. Okay. So, like this, there are many. Then, repetition. <coughs> repetition is the <coughs> repeating of words or phrases or line. Again, in order to emphasize some points, some meaning, repetition is. Metaphor. Metaphor is again comparing two unlike things. Comparing, making a comparison between two unlike ideas or things without using like or as. Like or as I use here. Bina, to compare the same, you say metaphor. For example, Nyapare, the young children spilling out of their homes. Young children spilling out. Yani ki jis tarah se jo koi liquid hai, pani hai, dood hai, balti mein se aur flow karta hai. Usi tarah se jo bache hai, children hai apne ghar se itni badi sankhya mein bahar nikal rahe hai. So let's read the introduction of the poet first, and then Pamela Das was born in Malabar, Kerala. She is recognized as one of India's foremost poets. <coughs> Her works are known for their originality, versatility, and the indigenous flavor of the soul. Kamala Das has published many novels and short stories in English and Malayalam under the name Madhavi Kuti. Some of her works in English include the novel Alphabet of Lust, 1977, a collection of short stories, Padmavati, The Harlot, and other stories, 1990. In addition to five books of poetry, she is a sensitive writer who captures the complex subtleties 
of human relationship in lyrical medium. My mother at 66 is an example of the same. So she was born in Kerala, Malabar, and she is versatile, foremost poetess of India. She is known for her originality, her original work, not copying work, her appeal, appeal to universal, appeal to universal audience. And these are some of the stories, some of the books she had written. So before we read, we know that aging is a natural process. And <clears throat> have you ever thought what our elderly parents expect from us? elderly parents expect They expect from us to give them respect, to take care of themselves, to give them proper food on time. Ultimately, we can say to respect them and to take care. Now, I just read one this form for you and then we shall continue explanation of this. Driving from my parents' home to Kochi last Friday morning, I saw my mother beside me. Those open mouth, her face ashen like that of a corpse, and realized with pain that she was as old as she looked but soon put that thought away and look at young trees sprinting. The merry children spilling out of their homes. But after the airport security check, standing a few yards away, I look again at her one pain. As a late winter's moon, and felt that old familiar ache, my childhood's fear. But all I said was, see you soon, Amma. All I did was smile and smile and smile. So this is the end of the poem. Now explanation of this poem. So, since we are lacking time, so explanation of this form, we shall continue. Clear everybody? Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Because time doesn't permit us, and you have your next class, so we shall continue this tomorrow. Everyone, read it and come understand whatever you are able to understand or interpret and we shall continue this tomorrow. Okay, goodbye everyone. And don't forget,